Seal Test presents Seal Test Variety Theater. <laughs> Yes, it's Seal Test Variety Theater, starring Dorothy L'Amour, Eddie Bracken, and our special guest, one of Hollywood's brightest stars, Jimmy Stewart, with Henry Russell in the orchestra and the singing star of our show, Dorothy L'Amour. And now let's turn the clock back a couple of days and drop into the Brown Derby restaurant where Dottie and Eddie Bracken are seated at a front table discussing plans for this week's show. Oh, this is the week. Looks like we're really stuck. What's the matter? No guest star for this week's show. Every movie actor I know is either away on a personal appearance tour or shooting a picture on location out of town. Your worries are over, Dottie. I know every star in town, they'll do anything for me. Oh, come now, Eddie. I've heard you make those wild statements before, and oh, I just... Now, wait a minute, Dottie. They all come to me for advice. Why, take Rita Hayworth. Why, she wouldn't make a move without you. <laughs> wouldn't make a move without you? Mm-mm. Eddie, she's getting married this week, isn't she? Oh, I know, but I mean an important move. <laughs> but really, Dottie, I, I know them all, I, all of them. Do you know Clark Gable? Well, certainly. Clark and I are pals. Why, we're like this. Good, good. Because he happens to be coming this way right now. Oh, uh, where, 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 where? Uh, right this way, Mr. Gable. Oh, yeah, that's, that's him, all right. Ah, oh, hiya, Clark, old boy. How's every little thing, Clark? Hello, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> See that? But he called you Mac. Yeah, you know, he always gets me mixed up with Fred McMurray. <laughs> oh, Eddie, why don't you stop... Why don't you stop boasting? Why don't you stop belittling me? You know, I... I, I... <laughs> I mean, I, I'm telling you, I, I know them all. Well, here comes John Garfield. Well, he just happens to be one of my oldest friends. Hiya, John, old boy. How's the kid? See that? See what? He didn't even answer you. Oh, don't be silly. He's just acting out the title of his last picture. What do you mean? We were strangers. <laughs> yeah, you know them all, all right. So you still doubt me. Well, now you hurt my feelings. Just a minute. Look who's coming along now. Get a load of this. Hello, Spencer, old boy. How are you? Well, if it isn't Eddie Bracken. Hi, Eddie, old pal, old pal. Haven't heard from you in a month of Sundays. Call me sometime, huh? Will do. <laughs> well, Daddy, how about it? Who is that? My bookmaker. That's Billy Howard, you know, I think. <laughs> bookmaker. I don't think you realize how serious this is. I need a guest star for the show this Thursday, and you're not being a bit helpful by trying to act like a big man. Daddy, I'm tired of your insinuations. When I say something, I mean it. Now tell me. Just tell me. Who do you want as a guest on your show this week? Jimmy Stewart. He's out of town. Are you sure? Well, certainly I'm sure. And what a shame it is, too. If there's one guy to do anything in the world for me, why, it's Jimmy. <laughs> Just all lucky. He had to be out of town. Eddie. Huh? Look who's sitting at that table. Which table? The third one down. It's Jimmy Stewart. Dottie, that's not Jimmy Stewart. That is Jimmy Stewart. Ridiculous. In the first place, he's out of town. And in the second place, Jimmy Stewart's got... He's got a beard. A beard? Oh, so you want someone with a beard? Well, I can get Gabby Hayes. <laughs> That's all I have to do. I just have waiter, to... Waiter. Huh? Oh, waiter. Uh, what is it, Miss Lamore? Who is the man sitting at that table? Uh, Gabby Hayes. No, no, no. The next table. Oh, that table. Oh, anybody knows who that is. That's Jimmy Stewart. Thank oh. you. You're welcome, Miss Lamore. Well? Huh? I guess it's Jimmy, all right. <laughs> well, Daddy, what are you going to eat? I think that Eddie, you ought to have some... Eddie, have Eddie, some Nice pig's feet and... Are uh, you I, I, or I, are you not... <laughs> Are you or are you not going over to ask him? But, Dottie, he's a busy man. He's always talking deals. Look how busy he is now. He's talking to the bus boy. Well, that's what I say. He's got deals with everybody, this he? All right, all right. Let's forget it. Just admit you don't know him at all, and we'll forget the whole thing. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going right over and see him. I'll prove he's a pal of mine. I'll be watching. Uh, uh he will. I, uh... 
excuse me, Mr. Stewart. Oh, I've been looking for you, waiter. Where's my coffee? What? <laughs> Well, you see, I, I'm not your waiter. Uh, well, that is, uh, I, I'm... I, well, I, I, I don't understand. What, I've, I've never seen you before, and I've got a lot of things to think about right now. I, uh, look, uh, would you please smile when you talk to me? Smile? Yeah, look, look happy. Be, be kind of glad to see me. Mm, kind of glad to see you. What, 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 do, you, what do you want? What, what is this? Uh, well, I know we just met, and would you mind being my best friend for a few minutes? You're be- what is this, a restaurant or a Lonely Hearts Club? <laughs> I, I, uh, please, please, I, this is very important to me. Now, look, I'm going to say something and then you're going to laugh. I will? But, yeah. Want a bet? <laughs> please, please, I'll say something now and then you laugh, all right? Under one condition. Uh, what's that? Uh, you stop being my friend. <laughs> uh, sure, sure, anything. Uh, uh, now, here goes. Say... I got a new pair of brown shoes. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? Fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. Hey, Dottie. Yes? Uh, see that? Uh, see how friendly Jimmy and I are? I'll be right back. Hey, are you back again? Look, I was, uh, I'm going to say something else and you laugh again, huh? Uh, all right, but let's not make it so funny this time. Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, here goes. Next week, I'm going to pe- get a pair of black shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, so long, Jimmy, old pal, old pal. Remember what I told you. So long, pal. Friend. <laughs> old pal, old kid. Well, Dottie, I guess that made you change your mind. Yes, it did. He certainly seemed glad to see you. How'd you make out? What'd he say? Oh, he'll be glad to do it. I, I, I told you the guy would do anything for me. He'll call you tonight. Eddie, I apologize. Back in the early days of the Soundies, the movie screens were flooded with musicals and Tin Pan Alley serenades. One swell tune from 20 Million Sweethearts, which lived to become a hit again, is I'll String Along With You. You may not be an angel Cause angels are so few But until the day that one comes along I'll string along with you I'm looking for an angel To sing my love song to And until the day that one comes along, I'll sing my song to you. For every little fault that you have, say, I've got three or four. The human little fault you do have, just make me love. Still I'm sure you do So until the day that one comes along I'll sing along with you For every little thought that you have Say I've got three or four The human little thoughts you do Get the best, get seal test. 
can't get the seal test flavor of the month for the best ice cream eating ever. It's real strawberry, smooth as velvet ice cream as only seal test makes it. With the irresistible flavor of juicy red ripe strawberries. And for extra goodness, big luscious pieces of strawberries winding all through it. It's the real thing, all right. Flavor rich, creamy smooth. And every mouth melting bite is famous seal test quality. Quality that has made seal test the most popular ice cream in America by an overwhelming majority. For the tops in ice cream treats, get real strawberry ice cream, the flavor of the month at your nearby Seal Test soda fountain. And always get the best at Seal Test. Next day, same time, same place. Dottie and Eddie having lunch at the Brown Derby. A fine pal you've got. I might have known I couldn't depend on you. Dottie, after all I've done for you, what's the matter now? It's your good friend, Jimmy Stewart. He never called me last night. He must be out of town again. Oh, let's not start that again. But here we are, and I still don't have a guest star for this week's show. Oh, that's Jimmy all over. He, he's such an absent-minded guy. You know, one time Look, he, he, I don't care if he, he is your best friend. The next time I see him anywhere, I'll give him a piece of my mind. I'll tell him what I think of him, oh, and I Oh, no, don't... Dottie, no, 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 no. Look, look, you got him all wrong. He'll probably still call you. Maybe he'll call you here. I'm sure he knows you're eating the derby every day. Dottie, I, I know he's going to call you any minute. I doubt it. Oh, I'll bet you he calls you. Uh, excuse me, Dottie, I got to get a pack of cigarettes. I uh, beg your pardon, Miss Lamour. What is it, waiter? We're having a very busy lunch hour, Miss Lamour, and there's a customer who's in a hurry. Would you mind if he shared your table? Not at all. Who is he? It's Mr. Jimmy Stewart. Oh, bring him over. I'd just love to see him. Uh, thank you. Oh, Mr. Stewart, this way, please. Thank you very much, waiter. Oh, Miss Lamour. Well, uh, it sure is nice of you to let me share your table. I'm Jimmy Stewart. Do sit down. Uh, uh, Oh, thanks. I, I, you know, it's it's a funny thing the way we've both been in this town a long time and have never met. Yes, and I'd like to keep it that way. You'd uh, like to, uh, uh huh? Well, I, 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 I don't understand. A <laughs> fine thing. I stayed home all last evening waiting to hear from you, and you don't even have the decency to call. And you, and you waited for my call. Don't act so innocent. Your best friend Eddie Bracken told me you'd call. Who's Eddie Bracken? Now don't. <laughs> Now, don't you dare deny that you know Eddie... Well, uh, wait a minute. Now, best friend... Boy, oh, wait. Now, that wouldn't be the fellow who came over to my table yesterday. The fellow that gets all the shoes. And yes. The <laughs> yes, and you promised him you'd be on my radio show this Thursday. Well, now, look, I'd love to be on your radio show, but believe me, I never saw that fellow before in my life, and he didn't mention your radio uh, show. Moore, there's a phone call for you. I'll plug the phone right in here. Thank you. Hello? Uh, uh, hello, Dottie. Uh, uh. <laughs> I, uh, I, is, is this your Dottie? Well, yes, who is this? Uh, well, uh, this is Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> Jimmy Stewart? Oh. Uh, I, uh. Oh, yes, of course. Hello, uh. Jimmy. Nice of you to call. Your friend Eddie Bracken said you'd call. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, Eddie Bracken. Huh? <laughs> uh, he's, a, he's a fine, fine boy, Eddie. Uh, uh, salt of the earth, you know. Uh, uh, none better. Uh, uh, best friend I've got, you know. Uh, talented, too. Uh, 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 about, about your radio show, I'd, uh, I'd love to do it. Well, yes, Eddie said you would. Oh, I, I'd, do, I'd do anything for... Uh, 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 for... He's <laughs> uh, a fine boy, you know. Best friend, uh, I, I, uh, Yes, I know. We went through all of that. Uh, I, uh, sorry, I, uh, I, ju I just can't talk enough about that boy. <laughs> uh, now, about your, uh, uh, 
I say, this is a radio show. I, I, I was called out of town. As a matter of fact, I'm, uh, I, I'm at the airport right now. Uh, I can hear the DC-6 warming up. <laughs> uh, so, uh, sorry, some other time, Dottie. Uh, oh, oh, don't hang up, Jimmy. There's a fan of yours here. He'd get a great kick out of talking to you. Ah, uh, uh, a fa- fan. Uh. Well, uh, uh, put him on. Uh, all, always glad to talk to a uh, to a fan. A fan. Uh, uh, hello. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I understand you're a fan. <laughs> I hope well, we have what? time to get through with the show, too. Well, uh, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I'm a fan of <laughs> Of yours. Oh, I see. Yes, I uh, make a point of seeing every picture you're in. And, uh, what, uh, what, what, what are you doing these days? Uh, 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 <laughs> as a matter of fact, I've just finished a picture, you know. I, I, oh, I, uh, 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 the Stratton story. Uh, oh, oh, are you in that one too? Huh? Yeah. I say your 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 voice sounds familiar. <laughs> That's funny, so does yours. <laughs> uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, who is this, uh, who is this anyway? Uh, uh, this is Jimmy Stewart. Uh, oh, uh, Jimmy Stewart. Oh, it, it, it's uh, Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> operator, operator, operator. Wrong number, I'm talking into a mirror. Originating Tim Pan Alley, but whose lyrics were composed in a veteran's hospital by Stanley Rashinsky, a patient. We all could take a tip from Powder Your Face with Sunshine. Powder your face with sunshine. Put on a great big smile. Make up your eyes with laughter. Folks will be laughing with you in a little while. Whistle a tune of gladness. Bloom never was in style. The future's brighter when hearts are lighter. Smile, smile, smile. Whistle a tune of gladness. The future's brighter when hearts are lighter. Smile, 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 smile. Get the basket seal test. Don't be alarmed. That's just a reminder to get the ice cream that's ringing the bell with everyone. Seal Test Real Strawberry. Once you taste that wonderful wake-up flavor, you'll agree there's nothing like it. Famous Seal Test ice cream packed with the sunny, zingy flavor of real sun-ripened strawberries. It's a cinch to wake up your appetite, so take time out tonight for a refreshing dish of real strawberry ice cream. The Seal Test Flavor of the Month. And whenever you crave ice cream, give your seal test dealer a ring or stop in and... Get the basket seal test. But, Daddy... I'm telling you I'm through. But... I'll never be able to believe a word you say again. I can't imagine why a grown man should go around saying... But, but, ...that but, he knows people he doesn't know and keep on getting into trouble. But... Jimmy Stewart didn't even know anything about it. I was never so embarrassed in all my life. Now, but, here's your hat, and now go. But... Uh, right over there, driver. I think that's Jimmy Stewart's house right, uh, right on the corner. Right. Ah... Uh, 
That'll be a dollar eighty-five. Yeah. Oh, here you are. Thanks. Say, do you really know Jimmy Stewart? Do I know Jimmy Stewart? Why he and I? Uh... Why don't you mind your own business? <laughs> Gee, I hope he's home. Yes, what can I do for you? Uh, Jimmy, oh. Jimmy, Jimmy, oh. look, you gotta help me. No, thanks. I don't need any shoes. <laughs> Jimmy, please, look, let me explain. Daddy's got me in the doghouse, and you're the only one who can help me out. All right, all right. Now, come on in, Eddie. Oh, gee, thanks. Jimmy. There, now, what do you want me to do? Uh, look, I, I know I was wrong, and I'm sorry. The, the, there's, the only way we can straighten this thing out is for you to do her show this Thursday night. Well, Eddie, I offered to do it when I was having lunch with her at the Derby. But after your phone call, she was so embarrassed that she just dashed out of the place, left me sitting there with the check. Why, why, uh, why don't you call her up and tell her I'll do it? Oh, it's no use. She'd hang up on me, Jimmy. Uh, please, uh, you call her, huh? Here's the number right here. Okay. Ah, oh, swell. It's nice of you to do this for me. Oh, it's all right. It's nine. Uh... Hello? Hello? Uh, is, is that you, Dottie? Yes, who is this? Well, uh, 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 this is Jimmy Stewart. I called... Call Look here, you... Eddie, Eddie Bracken. I told you I ne never wanted to talk to you again, and I meant it. Well... Well, uh, uh, Dottie, uh, this is really J Jimmy Stewart. Stop, stop I, it, I, Eddie, and for your information, you give the worst impersonation of Jimmy Stewart I ever heard. Goodbye. Well, you see, she didn't believe it was me. I thought it was you. Well, as, as, as a matter of fact, you did yourself pretty badly that time. Oh, I... <laughs> Gosh, I, I got to square myself with it somehow. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Hmm, I'm sure there's going to be a humdinger. What is it? <laughs> Look, I'll call Dottie, and I'll say I'm you. And when she hears me imitate you, she'll realize that it was really you and not me who just called me. A you. A her. <laughs> Oh, yeah, why, well, she'd know the difference in a minute. Sure. And then she'll call you back and apologize, and then you can tell her that you'll be on her show. Oh, there's no question this will work. This is, is bound to work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got that number right here. Hello? Uh, 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 hello, uh, uh, Dottie. Uh, this is Jimmy. Uh, uh, Jimmy Stewart. Oh, Jimmy, I'm so glad you called. <laughs> that, that Eddie Bracken's been pestering me. He keeps calling with that corny impersonation of you. Uh, yeah, it is pretty bad. Uh, 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 Dottie, look, I, I just called to tell you that uh, uh, I'll, be, I'll be glad to be on your show uh, uh, Thursday night. Oh, Jimmy, that'll be wonderful. Uh, uh, fine, I don't know fine. how to thank you, and I, I want to apologize uh, for all the trouble you've been through. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's quite all right. Uh, uh, what time is rehearsal? One o'clock on Thursday. Uh, good. Uh, there's just one thing I, I want you to remember. What's that? Uh, about that uh, Eddie Bracken. Uh, uh, remember, he's the salt of the earth. Uh, uh, none better. <laughs> Uh, best friends, you know. <laughs> Hello, Dottie. Am I in time for rehearsal? Right on the dot. Hello, oh. Jimmy. Hello, Eddie. Well, Dottie, what, what, uh, what do you have planned for the show? Well, I've been pretty angry at Eddie for what he did, but after thinking about it, it gave me an idea for the show. <laughs> she gets all her ideas from me. <laughs> Where do you get yours from? Quiet, Eddie. <laughs> Quiet, Eddie. Here's what I thought we'd do. Let's reenact everything that happened while we were trying to get you for the show. Eddie going to your table at the Derby, those phony telephone calls, everything just as it happened. Then we can all get very angry at each other. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, Eddie, see who that is, will you? Oh, oh sure. Hello? Oh, uh, I yes, yes, uh, there's... Uh, oh, oh, uh, just a minute. It's for you, Jimmy. <laughs> Hey, show me, Dottie. Hello. Uh, yeah. But I don't see how I could, uh, uh, how I could do it. I, can't you hold it off for a couple of days? He can't, huh? Well you, you, well, you say it's in my contract. Well, I guess you got me there, yeah. Well, uh, I'll be there. Goodbye. Uh, say, uh, Dottie. Jimmy. Break it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Retakes on my last picture. I have to fly to New York in an hour. I feel like a heel doing this to you, but it's in my contract, and I've just got to do it. I... Oh, I understand, Jimmy. 
Maybe some other time. First week I'm back, I promise. I, well, I have to get right out the airport now. So long, Dottie. Goodbye, Eddie. Uh, so long, Jack. Oh, fine. <clears throat> what am I going to do now? The show is tonight, no guest star. Now I'm really in a hole. Dottie, what are you worried about? What am I worried about? What do you think the sponsor's going to say? Dottie, relax. Relax? Me. But I haven't got a guest star. Who do you want? Just name it. James Mason, Gregory Peck, Ronald Coleman? Oh, no. Here we go again. There is no... Next week, we've invited an another big name to Seal Test Variety Theater. So if you'll stay with us for just a minute or so, we'll tell you about our All-Star Thursday lineup. Right now, here's a word about the products of the people who help us put on this show. Of all the food we eat, more than one-fourth is milk and milk products, so rich in minerals, vitamins, and calories. Most mothers will tell you they depend on milk more than any other single food to help keep their families healthy and strong. National Dairy Home Economists are constantly at work searching for new ways to utilize the high food value in milk. Our model kitchens are busy originating and testing new dishes, dishes that are appetizing as well as nourishing. And national dairy dietitians prepare booklets and work with schools, churches, consumer organizations, and women's groups giving lectures on some of the new discoveries in nutrition. And of course, at all national dairy plants, daily laboratory tests are made to check purity, food value, and taste. It's part of our quality control program to assure the highest possible standards for all national dairy products. Day after day, the search continues for new ways to improve our service to the public to keep the costs low and national dairy products high in quality. The best. <laughs> Now, here again is your mistress of ceremonies, Dottie Lamour. Well, next Thursday, Eddie Bracken, the whole gang, and I will be back for another performance in our Seal Test Theater. Joining us is one of the screen's foremost stars, the one and only Charles Lawton. To our guest star tonight, Jimmy Stewart, our sincere thanks. Jimmy, your appearance contributes to a fine cause, the establishment of the American Federation of Radio Artists Welfare Insurance Fund. And now, folks, on behalf of Eddie Bracken, Frank Nelson, Henry Russell, the crew chiefs, and all of us, this is Dorothy Lamour inviting you to be with us again next Thursday at the same time. In the meantime, we'll be thinking of you. Tonight's Seal Test Variety Theater was written by Howard Harris and Sidney Zelenka. Direction is by Glenn Hall Taylor. Jimmy Stewart is currently starring in the Metro Golden Mare production, The Stratton Story. Tune in again next Thursday evening when Seal Test again presents Seal Test Variety Theater, starring Dorothy Lamour and Eddie Bracken. And as our guest, Charles Lawton. Seal Test Incorporated and Associate Companies are divisions of National Dairy Products Corporation. This is John Lang speaking. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.